So now we're going to be talking about kinetics, okay? So kinetics is the speed of a reaction, right? It's the actual speed, right? We contrast this to thermodynamics, which was actually which direction will it take, right? So kinetics versus thermodynamics, we have to have those two straight in our mind, right? So kinetics deals with speed. A lot of times they just call it the rate of reaction, right? So generally, they'll give us some equation like this. So they'll give us uh, two equations, and they'll say um, one will always be a fast, one will be a slow. They may have an intermediate, like fast, uh, medium, and slow. So if they want you to find the rate, which one is the rate determining step? All right, so if they ask you what's the rate determining step, all right, rate determining step is not based on number one and number two. So a lot of times they'll, they'll number them. They'll number this is the first reaction and this is the second reaction. A lot of times people may think, oh, it's always number one. It's always got to be number one because you know, it's the first thing that happens. Well, that's wrong. Right? It's not which one comes in the order. It's which one is the slowest. Right? Rate determining step is dependent on the slowest. If you can think of it like a production line, um, you, know, you may have somebody in the front of the line who's super, super fast, uh, but somewhere down the, the middle of the line, um, they're really, really slow. They'll just have a buildup into that wherever that guy is really slow um, and then he'll just be, it'll be, the rate will be determined solely on that one guy. Right? Think of it like that. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at um, what is the rate affected by and there's only three things that the rate can be affected by um, and that's activation energy, um, that's concentration and temperature. Right? Um, and so what this is doing is that, so activation energy, um, an increase in activation energy uh, will slow the reaction down, and a decrease in activation energy will make the, the rate faster. Okay? Increase the concentration, uh, well that will also increase the rate, um, and increasing the temperature will increase the rate. So just have those in mind, um, you know, generally increasing is faster, and the only one that changes activation energy, um, and that is a decrease will make it faster, and I think you guys know why. Okay, um, so what will change this activation energy are enzymes. So you add an enzyme um, and it will decrease the activation energy which will speed up a reaction. So other questions may ask us, you know, what is the actual rate of the reaction? Okay? And that's where it gets kind of tricky. Um, and so if it asks us the rate, okay, rate is always based on this equation. Okay? Rate equals K which is a constant are concentrations of our reactants. Okay, and to this power, to this exponent. Okay? And we don't worry about the, the products, we just worry about the reactants. Okay? So a lot of people will just put, oh, so if that's the case, then the rate is going to be K A, and then we see that A has a, a coefficient of 2, B has a coefficient of 3, um, and they may be right sometimes, but that's completely wrong. They're just getting lucky if that's the case. Right? So that's a common misconception, but that's completely wrong. Right? You may get it by accident that it just so happens to be that, but in, in the end, on the test, you'll always be wrong. Right? So what we have to do is everything is experimental. Okay? All these questions are experimental. You can't figure this out just based on the equation alone. They always will have to give you these tables. Okay, so they're always going to give us this table right here, and this table um, is based off of experimental data. So what this is showing is that they're changing the concentrations and this will affect the rate. So we have a scientist who will, will increase the, the concentration, um, you know, in this case from B1 to 2, and the rate will go up by, by 10. All right? So in order to solve the actual rate, we have to use this experimental data um, and manipulate it in a certain way. So all we're doing is we're going to plug in these numbers um, into this equation and try to solve for X and Y. All right? um, so what we're going to do is we want to just pair things up based on which one has equal concentration for each one. So we're going to want to do two se separate sets and we're going to pair up 1 and 2 because A is going to be this constant and we're going to pair up one, um, 1 and 3 because B is going to be constant. So the first thing we're going to do is trial 1. All right? So trial run, the rate is 10 equals K times A which is going to be 1 to the X uh, times B to the Y. So that would be 1 to the Y. All right? And in trial 2, we're going to have 20 equals K, um, and then A is going to be uh, 1 to the X, and then B is going to be 2 to the Y. All right? So what we're going to do is just manipulate this in a, in a very simple way. We're going to do, we're just going to move this to the other side. 
And likewise, in this case, um, it'll be 20 over 2y equals k1x. So we're going to make these equal to each other and manipulate it around a little bit. And so we're going to see that y is going to have to equal 1. If you plug in any number into this, um, 2 to the y equals 2 times 1 to the y, y has to equal 1. So we know that y is 1. So that's great. We need to solve for um, x and y, and so now we have solved for y. All right? We're going to do the same thing with trial 1 and trial 3. So 1 and 3. All right? um, so we have over there 10 times k. 10 equals k times 1 to the x times 1 to the y. Similarly over there. And we're going to do trial 3, which is going to be 40, equals k times what is going to be 2 to the x um, times 1 to the y. We're going to move everything around, same thing as before, and we're going to get 2 to the y equals 4 times 1 to the y. Um, and you have to do a, a couple manipulations. Um, and so what we're going to find is that y, or sorry, this is going to be x, this is going to be x, 2 to the x equals 4 um, times 1 to the x, right? And what that is going to show us is that x has to equal 2. Right? x will have to be equal to 2 because 2 to the x equals 4 times that number. Right? So 1 to the 2 is 1, 2 to the 2 is 4. So that will solve for that. So we know that the equation has to be rate equals k times a squared times b to the 1. Right? So now if we want to solve for k, all we do is choose any specific one. So we'll do trial 1 and plug everything in. Right? So for rate we have 10. For A, we have 1, and for B, we have 1. And now we can solve for K easily, and we can find that K equals 10. Okay? So our final rate equation would be rate equals 10, A squared, B to the 1. Okay? So we'll do more practice problems in, in future lectures, because this is pretty important. They always kind of test at least one of them, and it's kind of complicated. Um, but, you know, there's obviously much faster ways to do this um, than what I showed you right here. Uh, but it's kind of, it's, it's not too intuitive, so that's why I showed you this, this long way of how people actually solve it with, with a little bit more math.